talk about this because a lot of people are excited about the news about Knights of the Old Republic remake coming to PC but at the same time you know people are worried because there's some bad news um, the bad news is that Sand Mags is going to be involved in re rewriting the Knights of the Old Republic and for those who don't know I'm not going to say anything bad about Sand Mags I'm only going to give you guys the cliff notes she has a bad reputation, especially um, back then. She was known for make uh, being assistant writer for, you guessed it, um, the game Mass Effect Andromeda. Yeah, she became the assistant writer for Ma Mass Effect Andromeda, and a lot of people are kind of worried because that game was a dumpster fire. It it she practically had to. She had to she had to leave because of that dumpster fire. That's how bad it is. Now a lot of people, sure, she she moved on and went to another game, but that franchise didn't do so well either. I, I hate to say it, but now everyone's like, "Oh, this is a great game," but too late, the damage was done. But also, she was known for another incident in the video game in video game history. Where she went on the news and claimed that she got virtually raped by <laughs> on Grand Theft Auto. What happened was there was a mod that kind of, there was a soft mod that uh, some hackers decided to mess with the game and, and you know basically did some inappropriate animation, and that kind of turned into a whole I got raped on, <laughs> and that's what she claimed. Now a lot of people were laughing at her. For a lot of reasons. Like she's just a very kooky weird person. And a lot of people remembered her. On the internet for. That she started some drama and everything. But I don't know why. Anyone at Lucasfilms would give her a job. Doing this. Doing a re, uh, uh, remake of this. Being their writer. I guess because they don't have the money. Disney didn't have the money to spend, so they decided, well, we're just going to go ahead and, and give her the job anyways because she's qualified, right? Wink, wink. But as far as I know, you know, people really need to understand, Disney, you got to understand this. She's not going to make this game look good on you. You realize, you know... Reasons why people liked it, Kotor, because of the fact that it actually was original game. No one cared about politics. No one cared about all these issues that happened. All they wanted was a space fantasy where it's basically space wizards with 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 swords and everything, with blazing laser swords. That's what they wanted. But no. We're going to be listening to people and they're going to lecture us about something. As much as I like the original, I'd rather stick to the original game. But if people want to buy this, go ahead. I don't mind. It's just, I don't really think Sang Mags has, has much credibility being talented enough to do this. Because the challenge that she's going to have to face is the fact that you know, when people remember the whole My Face is Tired thing, she kind of did destroy that franchise. She practically killed it and walked away. That's what the issue is. Like, a lot of people don't realize, like, she basically went from another <laughs> company after another company. And it's like, what the hell's going on? Why did why did Lucasfilms give her this job? I don't get it. You know, you can find anyone more talented than her, but you had to hire her because, well, she's willing to get paid less money because she's a Canadian citizen. That's kind of obvious to me. So anyways, guys, leave your thoughts down below and tell me what you think of this because I have to go. Bye-bye. Because this is really ridiculous.